Tyler Haas, what's up, man? What was your first impression last night uh, after you watched the press conference? Yeah, just really excited about uh, the state of the program, where things are headed, the future of BYU basketball. I think uh, I don't want to speak for all Cougar Nation, but I think there was a lot of uncertainty <laughs> and a lot of uneasiness the last few days. Like all those, uh, the changes happened really fast with Pope leaving and and I mean, you heard a, a ton of names thrown out there of, of possibilities. Um, and so, it, I mean, to land Kevin Young is a huge get for, for BYU and just really excited about uh, the different, different style and different things that he brings to the table. And after hearing him last night, talking with, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of the guys, like, I think everyone's really excited about where things are at. I, I couldn't have pictured a, a better scenario happening. It was wild because uh, I thought it was a pipe dream personally because it was like, this dude's a finalist for the Nets job, let alone a, a college yeah. job, right, uh, for BYU, mm -hmm. which is incredible, but it happened. So what was your reaction when you were realizing, like, wait, is Kevin Young actually an option here? Yeah, I, I was surprised. I mean, you hear Kevin Young's name, yeah, being thrown out for – the Nets job, the, the Rockets job, the Raptors job. I mean, he is one of the most highly respected assistants in the NBA. Uh, I know he was a finalist for the Jazz job. And so uh, I, I knew it was I knew it was a long shot. But you know what? You've got to give a lot of credit to Tom and Brian for kind of laying the foundation. I know they've kind of nurtured this relationship over many years and they've had this card in their back pocket ready to ready to use and um you know when the opportunity presented itself uh they acted quick which i mean jeremy you know as well as i do like things move a little bit slower in provo sometimes and so for them to get this done as quickly as they did they had to act fast and so I, I mean, kudos to Tom and Brian for, for figuring this out and, and getting Kevin to Provo. I think it moved as quickly as the ball wheel on the perimeter for BYU next year, which is very exciting. We hope that it's that efficient as it was last year. What did you learn last night that really stuck out? Yeah, I think one that, uh, you know, Kevin it, he, he brings a different style, different approach to the game. Um, and his NBA background, uh, I mean, I think his relationship with NBA guys, you don't, listen, you don't stick around in the G League and NBA if you don't you have a special ability to connect with players. And, you know, Kevin talked about that, uh, just the relationship he has um, with with guys, and that is the most important thing. And, you know, that was that was what was special for me at BYU with my coaches was was the relationships and how I was able to connect. And then, you know, the basketball stuff came second. We were able to build something special. Um, but that that's what got me the most excited. And in and, and talking with some of the guys um, after the press conference, you know, I, I was kind of gauging where where everyone was feeling. You know, everyone's been a little uneasy, but. Uh, Kevin, you know, has, has done a great job. He has a, a lot going on, but, you know, is off to a great start, I think, with establishing vision, establishing where he wants the program to go. And so I, I think that stuck out the most is just his, his ability to connect with these guys. And I, I just, I'm so excited. I love last night that he was saying, hey, I want every one of you, meaning the players back in the audience watching and who may have been watching on BYU TV or listening or whatnot, I want you guys back in a BYU uniform. He was recruiting those guys last night, and I would hope that you were re-recruiting Dallin Hall last night too. Come on, we need Dallin back. We need Richie back, <laughs> Khalifa back. Come on, guys. There's no better place in, in college basketball right now. You know, I think – you know, where the program was at this year uh, and where it left off, there's so much momentum, so many good things happening right now. And, you know, I, I think NIL is getting better. And, you know, I you don't blame these guys for testing the waters and seeing what's out there. Um, but I do think the next the next few years, the next five, ten years, there's some amazing things that are, are, are going to happen at BYU that haven't been done before. And so, 
the grass is not always greener on the other side uh, and BYU is a special place. And so my plug would be, hey, continue building. There's something special here. We got something going really good. And, and Kevin Young is just going to add to that and add to that fire. When you say some special things, are you, are you thinking like, hey, there's going to be a sweet 16 plus in BYU's cards here in the next five years, hopefully? Hey, absolutely. I man, I I had BYU going past the Sweet 16 this year. Come I'm on, like, baby. I, filling out my bracket. I'm like, BYU can beat this team. They can beat this team. Come on. This is our year. So I was disappointed with a first round exit. I know everyone in that locker room is disappointed. And so uh, they're eager to get back there. They're eager to, to prove themselves again. And so it's it's exciting. Give me a sense of what the environment was like yesterday because it felt like it wasn't just a Kevin Young press conference. It was a celebration of BYU basketball. And there's not a lot of other places where you'd have two previous coaches there. Some people move on, disconnect from the program, or maybe it's sour and they don't want to be there. Yet you have Dave Rose, Steve Cleveland, and all these former players. It looked like it was really fun last night. Yeah, it just shows like the the investment, the emotional investment that – former players and coaches have in this program. Everyone really cares about the future of BYU basketball. And, and I think it, it is in great hands. Uh, I'm excited where Kevin Young takes it. Uh, but yeah, like you said, it's a celebration. It's handing the torch off. Uh, I hope Kevin Young felt that from, from everyone there, that everyone's really excited. Okay, Ty, with the coaching staff, what kind of staff are you hoping for? Because BYU didn't fill all five spots last year. They could fill five spots. Um, and there could be guys from the NBA. There could be, who knows, guys from the last staff or former players that we haven't seen on the staff before. I know an Eric Mika type is interesting given perhaps his career is over. I know Kyle Collinsworth tweeted he'd be interested in Eric on the staff. I would love that too. What are you hoping for with this coaching staff that hopefully comes together pretty quickly? Yeah, I, I would hope for all the all those spots to be filled. I think there uh, there's a lot of value with uh, different voices and perspectives uh, in that coaching staff on the coaching staff. And you know, I think Eric would be an awesome addition. I think he is a an amazing personality. Has built a great network. Has had an amazing uh, pro career. Has a lot to offer. So you know, I think having a mix of you know some BYU guys, but also guys from Kevin Young's network. I, I mean, I, I would assume he's got connections all over the place and guys that would be interested in, in joining him. And so I'm curious to see, you know, who he brings in and, and the caliber of, of guys. But, I, I, you know, I'm biased. I, I think uh, there's some guys he should keep uh, on the just BYU guys, right? Uh, you know, my, the other guy is Nate Austin. I mean, I, I think Nate's done a great job as the basketball ops guy. I think he knows uh, knows the ropes uh, of BYU and how things are done. So I'd like to see a couple of guys stick around like that. I'd love to see Eric, but really curious. You know, you don't spend that long in the NBA and that long in the G League without um, being well-respected with coaches and and players. I mean, uh, there, there's some serious guys that uh, that he could bring in. And, you know, I, I saw, I'm sure you saw the same thing, but Devin Booker yesterday called, saying it's KYU. Heck yeah. And, I mean, Devin Booker is, is at the top of the basketball pyramid right now. And so, I mean, he's, Kevin Young has a lot of respect with, with many guys and uh, wouldn't be surprised if he brings in some, some really high caliber, big name people to BYU. Certainly, we look forward to what the coaching staff will be like. This roster is in flux. Obviously, three guys are, four guys are in the portal, of course, with Marcus Adams Jr. as well. Jackson Robinson's decision is still out there. Uh, what are you hoping for in the next couple of weeks and months uh, with the roster? Yeah, I, you know, I hope I hope those guys come back. Um, would love to see them back at, at BYU. But um, who knows? It, the the college basketball landscape has totally changed, and you know you, you want guys to uh, have the best experience possible. Um, but I, I do think BYU is a special place, and I think there's a lot of momentum going, and there you can feel it. There there's a fire burning here that is really cool and fun to be a part of, and so I. I'd like to see those guys back, um, but I, you know I'm also curious to see the 
the additional pieces that uh, Kevin Young brings in. And, you know, he talked about building this pipeline uh, to, to get guys to the NBA. And, you know, I think his voice carries a lot of weight uh, in NBA locker rooms and uh, amongst management and NBA teams. And so uh, it'll be so fun the next five to 10 years to see what what he does and how he builds that pipeline and gets guys to to Provo. And so uh, I'm I'm just really excited about, uh, yeah, the, the roster he builds and the, and the staff that he builds. That was the most ambitious thing he said last night is, I want this to be the best place for people to prepare for the NBA. BYU uh, does not have a great history of NBA players the last kind of decade <laughs> plus here at Tyler. What's it going to take to kind of get those guys in here uh, and into the NBA? Well, yeah, I think, you know, you look at um, you look at the talent over the last 15, 20 years of, of BYU guys, and there, there's been a lot of great talent, um, but not so many guys getting uh, getting to the NBA. And so, yeah. you know, I think it, it starts with it starts with recruiting, starts with recruiting high level talent um, and, and certainly the Big 12 opportunity and the stage that BYU has now adds to that. Um, but you add a, a name like Kevin Young, a guy that can develop guys and then has the network to, uh, you know, put them in a position to be successful and go to bat for them. Like, I, I think I think those are amazing things to have in your corner. And uh, it, it'll be special to see uh, who he brings in and Certainly, you know, don't want to harp too much on NIL stuff, but I think NIL is getting better at BYU. Yeah. And I, I think those will, that aspect there will lure, you know, different different talent and people in. And so it's the combination of a bunch of things. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff has to go your way to, to make it to the NBA. Uh, you got to stay healthy. You got to play well. You got to be a part of you know, winning winning teams that, go far in the tournament and you know but i i feel like all those th the opportunities there and you know you you got guys that have a lot of fire and um a lot of vision and ambition to go make it, something special happen you know and and those things like the stars are going to align at some point and and i think the pipeline uh for the nba is going to going to be a lot stronger well, we'll take one draft pick every five years, honestly, at this point. Uh, if it can be more than that, we will take it. Tyler, we appreciate the time. Thanks for the insight. Thanks, Jerem. Appreciate it.